Hello and let's talk about the 16th Airtel Delhi Half Marathon. Now this event is being held in the capital this year too, amid the unique circumstances of the pandemic. The main event is going to be held on November 29th at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium. It will be attended by elite Indian and international runners and will take place in a secure zone. But in the days preceding it from November 25th to 29th, runners in the city or anywhere in the world for that matter can take part through covering that distance and recording it via an app. Now this is to ensure safety during the time of a pandemic. But how safe it actually is will be quite a controversy, considering the fact that for many running is a group activity. Now, this is not the first time a half marathon is the half marathon which is being organized by ProCam International has run into controversy about its timing. In earlier years too, there have been questions about the run being organized amid the pollution in Delhi. But this year, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought an entirely new dimension to the timing and the safety of this event. Newsclicks Leslie Xavier and Dr. Rajat Chauhan, a sports medicine expert as well as a marathoner himself and the organizer of La Ultra, the high ultra marathon in Ladakh, discuss this issue. Hello, doctor. Welcome. Thanks hey, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. And yeah, you can. I'm just enjoying the sun over here. It's surprisingly not very polluted over here. But yeah, uh, let's just be very clear about this thing. Yeah, since we are talking, we will be talking about pollution also in this conversation because we are talking about a run that is going to happen in pollution under the COVID cloud. So yeah. pollution is not visible, but pollution is always there. As per numbers, right now I am near RK Puram, and as per numbers, it's around 170, 180, the AQI for uh, PM 2.5 particles, and I don't see any pollution as such. So that's that's the reality that we are living in. In Delhi, it's a, there's always pollution, visible, non-visible, it it doesn't matter. So you are, have you been running? That's let's start with that. No, I've not been. So actually, let me go Lazy back. A boy. <laughs> no, so I've been doing a couple of camps. So running camps uh, for the last two, two and a half months. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea was yesterday, 22nd of November, was supposed to be a race yourself for you versus you, where you just, mm -hmm. over the 33 days, you kind of check yourself, how have you done? So yesterday yeah. was the 33rd day. And I told everyone in Delhi NCR that please don't go out and run because yeah. it's pretty pathetic, it's bad air. And even building up to this for two weeks around Diwali time and all that, I told people, please, I mean, think of it. I'm putting the whole, you know, the camp together and I'm telling them, please don't go out and run because it's bad. So I've told them uh, maybe not even next Sunday, maybe the Sunday after that they should be doing. And so quite the opposite of what ProCam International, the organizers of Daily Half Marathon, they have been doing. Apparently, the I mean, I was surprised actually that they have organized the half marathon in these circumstances because the primary circumstance is not pollution. The primary villain is not pollution over here because this pollution aspect we have spoken about. We ourselves have had this discussion last year. I have written quite a few articles on this. Uh, the question now is uh, the pandemic as well, COVID-19, and how how bad or difficult or risky it is to run outside. And uh, there are two aspects to it. So firstly, I'll just explain how the half marathon is being organized this time around. So there is an elite race for foreigners as well as Indians that's happening, that's being staged in uh, on Sunday, uh, which is a closed race, uh, no spectators, no mass participation as such. While the mass participation has, uh, happens over the course of two days where the runners can register themselves virtually using an app and then record their timing in their own location and uh, then they will get a virtual certificate based on their timing etc but uh, 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 procam have been listed one of their rules that they have discussed uh, listed is that uh, whoever is running they should follow the protocols prescribed by the state government or the local authorities at their place and it's open for anybody to run across the world registration fee being 499 for Indians and uh, 30 dollars for foreigners yeah so that's the scene but but also at the same time uh, two different aspects let's understand because you have been a marathoner you have been a race organizer yourself and so marathon or running in general it's a it's a social activity as far as India is concerned as far as the uh, newbie runner or the in the prevailing regular runners you have seen in the last five six years uh, increase in population over, I mean, increase in numbers in uh, across India. 
they all love to run in groups. The, it's a group activity, it's not an individual activity. And so uh, I, on a personal note, spoke to many of the runners that I know, many cyclists as well, uh, about how to, uh, whether they have registered for this uh, half marathon this time around and how they are going to uh, race it. So some of them are, are planning to do it alone, but many of them are doing it in their running with their running club at Lodi Garden or Nehru Park or, or those spaces. So, so it's a, it becomes a group activity. So the uh, organizers of the race, ProCam International, have put it on the runners to be responsible. But, uh, and so they absolve themselves of any responsibility, but at the same time, they are inviting people to take risks. So how bad is that? How, how unethical is that? That's, that's, a, that's a point that I would want to ask you. How unethical is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> trick question, trick question. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, uh, I think uh, over the last year or two, you know, whatever has been happening in the world, uh, it's very really interesting what human beings are up to. And you know, some people think maybe you and me would dis disagree with people, uh, and you know, they end up doing what we are totally against, whether it be politics, whether it be religion, whatever you know, whichever stance we are taking uh, today, and. It's, it's really tricky. So as it is, even before ProCam ADHM was announced, even before that, we were going to Shantipat uh, and you were to see people, you know, how they were gathering together without masks. So forget about running on your own with or without a mask. That's a separate issue. Mm -hmm. But 15, 20 more people gathering together, no mask, no distances from each other and all that. And any Sunday or, or not even any Sunday. I mean, to, nowadays, every day is a Sunday, right? It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a year long holiday or a Sunday that's going on. And if you were to go to Shantipat and, uh, you know, uh, that area, India gate and all that, very crowded. And I think we're just not being responsible, you know, we as human beings. And on top of that, you have an ADHM, you know, uh, I respect ADHM a lot, uh, or uh, I should rather say program a lot for one thing, they brought running to the common man. It's not about an elite runner and all that. And, you know, hats off to the guys. I've been involved. I've been part of the teams in separate, cap you know, different capacities. Uh, so a lot of respect on that front. Having said that, the way they've been behaving with this whole uh, pollution thing over the last two, three years, very irresponsible in, in my opinion, very irresponsible because on one hand, they are the ones who got people started. So let's be very clear on that front. Yeah. They are the biggest ones who may be the game changers in running in India. Okay. Uh, no one can take that away from them. But then to behave like this is kind of unexpected because then expectations from people like me are a lot higher from them. You know, that ethical, when you say unethical or ethical, right? Yeah. Uh, that becomes a big issue. And this year around COVID, for God's sake, right? It's not about pollution, which will affect you 20, 30, 40 years later. This will kill you now. Right, yeah. and yet we are doing that. We are promoting uh, wrong things from people. I was just going through Facebook posts and all that right now. Mm -hmm. Some very well respected people in the running community because ADHM will give them a platform. You know, they'll make a little poster for them or whatever else. And you know, people are people. I think mm -hmm. all of us have to play our role. So whether we are a, a race director or whether we are a say a president of a running club. You all have a role to play and I'm just disappointed. I mean, I think that's the more important part rather than unethical or ethical. Yeah, and uh, let's just be very clear about this also that uh, running, I mean, you have been an avid promoter of running for health, for, for fitness, for, for activity, for mental well-being as well. But at the same time, running is also a business. And so it's it's very clear where this comes from for ProCamp because holding an event makes sense financially. Uh, covering up the losses, making revenue for the for the year, which 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 probably has seen them go through uncertainty whether they would be able to hold this stage this event a, at all, and at the same time, uh, the money considerations apart, they have big events coming up. Uh, the, arguably, the biggest event in their portfolio is the Mumbai Marathon, which is coming up early Jan, I mean late Jan, so next year. So that means this is like a testing the waters. Let's let's get 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 the Delhi guys to run, and 
and see how it how bad or how good it gets but my biggest concern here is the timing of it which has always been right through whenever we have criticized cocom in this this aspect because it's great to see people run for for sure but we have always questioned the calendar they always cited the calendar international calendar saying that we don't have a window as such but but then every time they promise that next time we will ensure that the critical period where the uh, pollution peaks in delhi which is post diwali and the and the prevalent weather conditions and also crop burning that happens in the neighboring states it all comes and converges in delhi the pollution the particulate matter uh, so if if it can be moved moved backwards a couple of uh, weeks then it makes sense but that kind of a uh, understanding or 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 a will to do that is has been lacking through the through the uh, uh, years when uh, if you look at the last few years when we have been questioning them in fact we have not just been questioning them we have had discussions with 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 the organizers with with the personnel involved with with the top with the owners of rocam in fact and uh, that is one aspect of it the second aspect is is uh, uh, how do you change how do you make the runners understand this because for them it's it, it's been drilled in that it's a challenge it's a challenge you are beat i mean some people even believe that you are beating the pandemic or be beating pollution by doing this so how do you beat that how do you how do you change that because this is this is again this narrative is i am i am i am sorry to say that but this narrative part of it you also have a role to play because you are you are portrayed running as a uh, big deal <laughs> yeah no i have a role to play and you know that's why i guess i'm here uh, so a little you know just to add to what you said about me i've been running for 36 years so i started off as a elite runner all that stuff you know wanting to represent the country and all that mm. so have been up there then for the last 20 plus years it's about you know getting the world to run whether it it being london or you know india in bangalore or delhi hyderabad wherever right mm. so i think running is not only about health benefits i think health benefits are secondary or tertiary that we look at i think its whole emotional part the whole psychological part is a very important part you know like our need to connect with other people we want to belong to a tribe we sick and tired of the whole rat race you know it's totally there so running is amazing you know it is important for the society to run move because right now your non communicable diseases are everywhere right mm -hmm. uh, and what do you do you need to be physically active that's a very important part besides yeah. the nutrition part without uh, besides the sleep psychology so you know yes it's very important but this whole argument about you know to become uh, more immune to pollution throw yourself in the pollution you know seriously i mean <laughs> how do you start that conversation you know when someone throws that at you like you know i don't know what to say to that because that's pretty you know the problem in today's world is common sense is not common anymore right you would you would think that hey listen it's pollution so you know be careful and it's this covid let's be very clear anyone if you have not had it in your family and you're trying to act as if it will not happen to you uh, i have like 10 friends or more whose family members have died mm. right uh i'm not saying very close but you know close enough that you know they pick up a phone and tell me about it as close as that at least right mm -hmm. it's a it's a real thing in july i was sick with it you know mm -hmm. uh, i was affected uh, i was down you know quarantined myself in a room for a month so i was like you know i was wanting to do vipassana for a very long time and you know it happened automatically by default you know vipassana was on right <laughs> so it it takes you to a place mentally which you really don't like to be you know mm -hmm. it messes you up more mentally than physically actually this disease right mm -hmm. because at the end of the day i mean there are two three things uh, you know how serious can it get that's one issue yeah the yeah. second thing is your family have you kind of infected them right your loved ones so those yeah. are the two big big issues that are going on the third one that you know i kind of experienced was you know it really doesn't matter i mean you know all those good friends who would message you and all that after a while or or if i were to pass they would have said ha acha banda tha ganda banda tha you know they would have made statements like that but it's me and my immediate family which will be affected and why can't people get that it's for real it's right here in midst of us you know of all of us and we are we are behaving in a very poor way all of us 
and you you just mentioned the rat race part of it uh, last aspect let's let's just wind it up after that so uh, it's 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 unfortunate that uh, activity which is supposed to take us out of that rat race or give a, give us the larger meaning of of existence i mean so to speak the organizers of uh, runs and marathons have gotten into a rat race so to speak the club club uh, uh, runners or the club the big uh, the club organizers or even the race organizers they they part of this rat race where brands are involved money is involved and so so it's 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 the reason why this is staged i believe uh, one of the main factors is economic and also the organizers can and will cite the fact that across the world marathons have happened in closed uh, loop like like they have organized here tokyo it was held london it was held where runners ran but but at the same time these are cities where pollution is minuscule the pandemic is not raging when the uh, marathon was staged so that makes us wonder what the authorities are, are at their stances on this part because there are restrictions on other activities i mean so called restrictions because people again don't follow it uh, diwali time <laughs> there was a restriction against bursting crackers but all over the place there were bursting crackers for instance so that way there is a blatant disregard for rules uh, so uh, as a as a marathon organizer and you have cancelled your event i believe so how do you look at this this aspect of it because across the world of course races are being organized but then will you be, is there peer pressure kind of a scene where you you are forced to it's it's money it pressure well? uh lessly it's money pressure it's not it's not peer pressure let's not fool ourselves uh yeah. but i would i would put a very simple question out to the owners and the race director of this event imagine if their own immediate family member died of covid right i i hope it doesn't happen that way but would they have put this run together right mm -hmm. uh and the sad part about us humans or probably more more so the indians is uh it has to happen to immediately to us to wake up to what the problem is otherwise we don't mm -hmm. otherwise it's always the other person never us right otherwise it's always a statistic but when it happens it's to a statistic. you then, exactly yeah. it's always a statistic one in a thousand one in a million all that random stuff right now i'll tell you you know when you ask about cancelled my events we've been putting together la ultra for last 10 years this was supposed to be the 11th year we cancelled our run in ladakh now don't get me wrong i'm a i'm a nutcase when it comes to putting races together i don't like simple runs like in you know, a delhi and all that uh then i'm putting you know making people run in ladakh where people can potentially die if they were to land in ladakh and go to khardungla the same day they potentially have a chance of very high chances of dying the same day right uh i take all the precautions i make sure those you know they get early enough there and all that stuff we've been doing it for last 10 years armed forces come along you know uh, runners from across the world we've had people from 23 countries coming to our run mm. and this year we had taken the registration fees and yet cancelled it as early as february march we had events in masuri dhanolti uh, dehradun to dhanolti yeah. all that stuff we cancelled those as early as that our governments had not woken up we cancelled them because we were very clear now what surprises me about this whole delhi half marathon is is the same government which has given them them permission but on the other hand they turn around and say but in a wedding only 50 people are allowed uh you know what uh, we can talk about this lastly forever uh, i think we'll make no impact anyways <laughs> but but, <laughs> but it's very really sad what has happened to the society right uh, at times it's almost like why are not more people up there being affected by covid you almost wanting that to happen because they need to feel it themselves like what is it all about uh, yeah. and will only that wake them up because this is sad yeah, the, the how the things are right now uh on that somber no not i mean let's just wind up the conversation because like you say this is an ongoing thing and it's it's i don't see uh, i mean any impact being made as far as the half marathon or the organizers of the half marathon is concerned because they have always been they have a history of being responsible with pollution this time it's it's a two pronged danger with covid as well as as pollution 
thanks for your time uh, doc and uh, it's always great to talk to you but yeah this time on a somber note that's an pleasure leslie uh, i just hope people take a like a call on this themselves i mean see again a race organizer wants the money as simple as that uh, yeah. uh, your life yeah it's your life at stake your loved ones lives at stake so you know in closing that's what i want to say to everyone that please uh, you adults i know that i understand that totally uh, but please it's not safe if you're running next to each other you're taking all those selfies with 50 20 30 people uh, what are we thinking here not not safe that's all we have time for today we we'll back tomorrow with more news from the country and the world until then keep watching news click